welcome once again ladies and gentlemen to our episode 10 and we believe that so far we have at least brought some knowledge to you you who is our listener whether you are in diaspora or in Kenya at least you have learned a thing or two from African real estate podcast it has been a real journey today we will be looking at a real estate agent but before we introduce what a real estate agent is I will be your host, Dominic Mwangi, alongside Victor Kiplagat. Karibu ni sana. Victor, how have you been? It has been quite some time. I've been good. I've been wonderful. We're gaining a good traction on uh, the podcast. It's been an amazing journey. I feel like the India Central News is plot. If you can feel that, Victor, and you are there host what about now our listener and uh, we yes. are grateful that we always find time and come back to our episodes to listen you know to give us feedback we appreciate for that wonderful man today's episode is really interesting because mm-hmm. it offers two things number one information on real estate agents and number two mm-hmm. for someone who wants to have a career or become a real estate agent this is the episode for you because someone might exactly. say Real estate is only about property. We have the human touch on the property uh, is where the real estate agents come in because property what? cannot sell itself. We need to have the intermediary. Exactly. Now we have the real estate agents. Amazing, amazing. Actually you have already introduced the whole vast topic. I'll be quite brief because definitely you have brought the whole point home. Yeah, yeah. A real estate agent is an individual or a company that is involved in either selling, renting, that is a real estate agent provided that the property is under a real estate. They perform various roles and these includes selling, renting out, leasing and the management of homes, land, buildings and properties on behalf of their original owner in Kenya. For one to operate as a real estate agent, they must be registered by a body that is called Estate Agent Registration Board or EARB. This body right. regulates estate agency practices in Kenya and it is mandated by the Estate Agent Act of 1984 and was operationalized or it was brought into use in 1984. 87 the real estate agents work with clients and help them in buying selling renting or disposing their property they also do manage their property wonderful in any real estate sector the goal is to become better as a real estate agent here are some of the mm-hmm. few tips that you can engage in to become better to succeed to have many clients understanding mm-hmm. the licensing requirements dominic the licensing requirements vary from country to country as you've mentioned about the estate agency registration board and the estate act the licensing requirements for one to operate vary uh, as far as geographical jurisdiction is concerned understand the craft understand the licensing requirements it's also important to do one thing which is critical market yourself very well market yourself in an area either social media marketing or uh, the traditional marketing by traditional media when you increase your visibility this generate leads develops consistent networks that allows real estate to work and also it improves your scope additionally it's important to track your personal and business expenses this enables real estate agent to to understand and and be keen on how he or she has achieved the short term goals and the long term goals also we have managing of time if you don't plan yourself with the to do list with the task management software organizing your day it's going to make your day cramped up it can even limit you it can invite distractions also have a wonderful marketing plan a marketing plan dominic is important because it ensures whatever i've advertised on the television as far as my real estate agency is concerned is same with the, the radio one and also same with the print media advertisement because if they are different we will not know is victor really a real estate agent or victor is a broker or victor is a tenant or victor is a, a landlord you know we need to get the distinction also find a mentor these are people who have been in the industry for ages they have worked very well they have seen how to be successful they have seen the resources that you need to be successful they have seen the challenges they have seen the strategies that are there so that you can turn your leads into clients they have seen how a market can be rough and how it can be soft and how you can survive in murky waters of the real estate so that you become better grow your network attend those exhibitions because without networks 
you have limited net worth. So find your network, grow your network, attend the networking events, community events, and then dress for success. First impressions are everything, Dominic. And importantly, hone your communication skills so that when you are negotiating, you'll be able to, to strike the best deal with the seller and the buyer, and you'll be able to explain the buying process in a very wonderful manner so that you'll avoid any confusion whatsoever because if communication is hindered then transaction and business is hindered that's quite mouthful there are several types of real estate agents what differentiates each from the other is their job or what role they perform. Number one, a seller's agent. So this is a real estate agent who helps owners sell a property and are also called listing agents. Their role ranges from staging a property to make it appealing for the person who wants to buy it to preparation of documents such as offers, contract, and closing statements. Secondly, we have a buyer's agent. This is a real estate agent who helps clients buy a property and just as the name suggests buyers involved with the buyer their role ranges from conducting interviews to understand what a buyer is looking for and specifically to negotiating property repairs as requested by the buyer or by the potential buyer they also coordinate inspections of property by the buyer the third type of real estate agent and this is the duo agent. The duo agent is the one who performs both the roles of the buyer's agent and the seller's agent. They represent both the buyer and the seller. He or she performs uh, both the roles of a buyer's agent and those roles of a seller's agent. Now, because we have mentioned the various types, what are the roles of real estate agents? Now, in general, letting and selling. Real estate agents majorly involved in letting and selling. When I want to rent out my property. That is similar to letting. When I want to sell my property, I go to a real estate agent and I tell them, I need to sell this property out. How do you help me? They also prepare rental estate marketing surveys because they are real estate agents. They deal with various types of property. They want to know what their customers want. So they go out there, they find buyers, they know what do buyers want. They go out there, they find sellers, what are sellers selling. So they link the two. Therefore, they conduct a real estate marketing service. Real estate agents perform the role of conveyancing. All the processes that are involved during the property transfer from a buyer to a seller, the whole process is called the conveyancing. And this is a process that is performed by a real estate agent. They also organize listing and advertising of property. They deal with buyers and sellers of property. They are not the owners of the property. They market what property they have so that buyers can know this real estate agent has this property. If it suits me as a buyer, I go for the property. Open what the buyer wants so that a seller out there can know. I have this buyer who wants ABCD. How can I come in to make money out of it? They also locate properties for purchase. Finally, provide advice to both the sellers and the buyers. All right, all right. You know, it's very important that we have a real estate agent who understands licensing agreements, who understands how to talk to people, how to communicate well, and also importantly, who, who provides a smooth network between the seller and the buyer. These are three very crucial benefits. Real estate agents are qualified and licensed. Meaning, because they are qualified and licensed, they are going to ensure that every business trend that they engage in will be a lawful transaction of property business. Meaning, it won't be a shady business or it won't attract lawsuits. Additionally, they have connections with other people in the industry. They have connections with title companies, with appraisers, with inspectors, with landscapers, with contractors, with businessmen, with landlords, with tenants. Once you are getting in touch with the right contact, you cannot be duped by fake people. They'll be able to give you the right property prices, insurance policies. In terms of advice, they'll just give you information. So you'll be the one who will take the information and know from here, what's the next step that I need to take or do? Amazing. And thank you so much. In addition, you find that you avoid falling into traps and scams. Victor, there is an episode that we covered, which was about scams. In Kenya, you find that there are so many scams. You might find a person who is selling a house, but literally the house is not theirs, but they are selling it and they will sell it to someone who is careless enough not to, to consult people. And that is yes. the role of a real estate agent. You find that if 
you involve a real estate agent, yes, you might also be scammed, but the chances are very minimal that you will be scammed. When you involve a, a real estate agent, you reduce the paperwork that you could have involved yourself directly into. For example, the transfers, it will be an option to keep the records. It reduces your role as a record keeper, having in mind that now you have involved this real estate agent. So they will play the role of the paperwork as well as keep records for you. They will also negotiate on your behalf and they will also uh, ensure confidentiality. When you involve yourself directly into a negotiation, for example, you find that you, you think this property is not worth as much as this person is selling it. So you try to convince them. You might get emotional and uh, leave the property despite the fact that you really needed the property. But now when you involve the real estate agent, they will negotiate and find a fair price for you, which is according to the market value of the property that is involved. And finally, real estate agents have answers to questions after closing the transactions, after closing the transfers. You will find that maybe you require to know something about this property. Who will help? You might never find the seller. That is where a real estate agent comes in. They will have all the answers because you involve them from the word go. Wonderful. So moving swiftly to the duties of a real estate agent that are administrative duties, a real estate agent will will answer phone calls and they check emails with prospective real estate uh, firms and agencies. Also, he or she will schedule appointments and showings. These are site visits to our property, to home, to see updating of property listings in terms of the property and every detail that is, that is listed there on the property. Also, drafting and delivering of key and crucial home and house documents, ordering of supplies, for construction of re renovation and refurbishment, the real estate agent will help and lie us with movers who want to maybe move your property. In research, a real estate agent will perform real estate market analysis, trends and best practices, and also will search for open listings to find properties. And marketing, marketing is crucial because it will ensure that the online and social media presence of the property business is well visible. Agreed, agreed. When we were introducing, Victor, you said something yeah. to do with choosing a career uh, as a real estate agent. Now they know what roles do they have to perform. They are real estate agents. Yes, uh, just to mention on a light note, uh, anyone who is really interested in real estate, don't just see real estate and think there are many landlords, there cannot be one. Real estate career field is so in a future episode, of course, I, I think Dominic will also look at a real estate career field that people can engage in. When we start mentioning the careers that people can engage in and pursue, even in studies, uh, we won't finish this episode uh, because there are so many career options as far as real estate is concerned. True, true, true. When you hear about real estate, people always think about a house, land. Has anyone thought about billboards? Are billboards part of real estate? Yes, they are. So in future, no. Victor, as we yeah. progress, we will also expound on the various sectors around or that are entailed by the term real estate. But definitely, we can only rest assured that it will be here at African Real Estate Podcast. Now, we, I think we are at 100%. By the, the next week, we'll be moving to 200% real estate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And this is the only place where you can always have all this information absolutely free without charging you and follow on our social media handles exactly at african real estate blog post that is it for today ladies and gentlemen we really appreciate for your time you took your time to listen to us thank you so much until next time i have been your host dominic mwangi alongside victor kiplagat see you my friends soon see you